Hello, I'm Elvin Dahl, and today we're going to talk about thymus gland. Thymus gland is an extremely important gland for our immunity. But why is that important? Well, scientists believe that thymus gland is the key to the aging process. Now, where is our thymus gland? Our thymus gland sits between our collarbones, and it's, it's uh, you can see the bright yellow thymus gland there. Now, thymus gland, when we're born, is small, and then when we start to, to develop, it gets to about the size of about one ounce. And what we do then, is then it, this is where we produce our T cells from. And our T cells is our immunity. This is why when a child is growing, their immune system is so strong. How they can be down for a day, but up the next. And how they can bounce right back. Whereas when, when we age, the thymus gland does not respond so, so well. And this is where the aging process, how they, how they believe the aging process comes in with the decline of the thymus gland. Now, I, I'd like to show you this, uh, this, this, this image here. It'll give you some very good information. And it shows, if you can see the chart, and I'll have this chart on the video. Now you can see the thymic lobes, and you can see that they're, they're the newborn. The newborn is full of cortex and medulla in the gland. And then you can see as soon as you hit to the age of about 20, we start to see a decline in the cortex and medulla of our gland, and it becomes fat. When you hit 40 years of age, it's mainly fat. And when you get 50 and older, it's pretty well all fat. And this is because our thymus gland is starting to shut down. The exact time when we need it most, it starts to shut down. So what we've found is for to treat the thymus gland, naturally, what we need to do is to supplement. And I'm surprised that we are the only ones on the market today that are really marketing thiamus. Thiamus, if understood, would sell as much and if not more than vitamin C. But it is not understood. Why? As we age, our T cells begin to deplete. And we, we also have our, our killer cells become lazy or they kind of lose their, their track and they don't know if it's a good immunity or a bad immunity, it starts to attack ourselves. This is what we call autoimmune disorders. And this is because they become confused. And as we age, our thymic count begins to drop. And with all sickness, thymus drops. I use thymus in clinical practice with my AIDS patients. And AIDS patients is autoimmune disorder. And so what we found is that their T cells with AIDS drops dramatically. When it was supplemented with thymus, this was three capsules three times a day, their thymic level did not drop. Actually, it was rising. And we found the same for lymphoma. And we found it for several other disease conditions. Thymus on another hand, when it starts to deplete and your thymus gland, after it starts to shrink to fat, it goes down to about like a, like a little raisin size compared to what would be equivalent to a golf ball. And what happens then is uh, we have to produce our T cells through our long bones, like our femur. And so this is where it's produced in the bone marrow. This is when people immune systems deplete that they need a bone marrow transfer. And this is because their T cells are not functioning. So this got me thinking. Now, if, if we can do a transfer from someone, a, a human, how about if we can take a, a thymus from an animal 
And I, I, we, we've, I've been doing this for a long time, folks. And I have a very good relationship with my gland supplier from New Zealand. And when I said I'd like to produce the thymus gland from bovine, they, they right away said, oh, no, no, you don't want to do that because the bovine is too fatty. And what you want to do is you want to have it from a lamb. I said, why is that? He said, well, look at the, the texture. It doesn't have the fat content. So this is what we did. We sourced our thiamus from lamb. And my the principle and the theory behind uh, my, my logic here is that if you can take a thiamus gland from a young lamb, now it's free from sex hormones, and it is licensed by Health Canada, so it's not a hormonal impulse, but it does have enough concentration of thiamus that it stimulates our own body's immune defense and builds our T cells. So what we've found is it's been remarkable. Anytime that the flu or cold season comes, this is what I give my family. We, we load up on thiamus. We load up on glycine also because glycine works with the blood sugar levels. So it's a great combination. And so we found that when, whenever we travel, and you're in a plane and you, you hear people hacking here and sneezing beside you, you think, oh God. So I, I immediately start spraying my colonial silver. And then I, as soon as I get to my destination, I double and triple my thiamus levels. If anything, I see somebody in the office sick, I just start loading them with thiamus and they start recovering. They do not have the issue any longer and it starts to, what would normally take weeks, is depleted. Now here is the importance of the thiamus gland. When a senior, it breaks their femur, what happens is that they normally get pneumonia and they could be life-threatening. This is because the thiamus or T cells are not producing any longer and they cannot have access to their T cells. So think of it this way, is to take the T cells from some, when you're in your prime and injecting it into the person so you can build and, and build your immune system response. Thymus gland. Remember, thymus gland for immunity. Thank you. Bye for now.